Hey everybody, I'm in Daryl's car. <laughs> okay, it's both of our cars, but um, his gets better gas mileage. I had to go up east and take care of some business. And I'm just leaving, well I'm, I'm halfway home and um, this is like the only good setup. I have a pop socket and a pop socket holder that fits into the vent clip but you get more head you get more head than <laughs> than mouth <laughs> I'm sorry I'm so sorry that was so oh, I'm starving okay I can't think straight so it's 405 and Daryl wants to fend because he had a big fat lunch today. Um, he and his managers and bosses went out for lunch today. One of them is leaving the company and so they had like a farewell luncheon and so he not hungry and I'm starving so I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna have a frozen chicken patty, one of those fast fixins. I'm gonna put it in the air fryer and then I'm gonna make my well, they're like noodles, but it's, you know, those um, yams, the spiraled yams. I'm just going to boil the crap out of them until they're really mushy and just stir them up until they make, like, a mashed yam. I like mashed yams. And then I also have some broccoli that I want to eat, so I'm going to have some broccoli and yams and chicken. But... There's nothing to do, so I'm just gonna go home and eat. Sorry for this crazy angle and this crazy lighting. The sun's like hitting me. So this Vlogtober day five is not gonna be very happy and alive because it's boring and dead and all we talked about was head. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. So, fast fixins. These are the best frozen chicken breasts ever. And these do come with gravy. Um, we don't really eat the gravy very often. Daryl hates gravy. I like it, but... So, I just save these. It's just powder. It comes in a little pack, and then I save them. I don't throw them away, because we have these. Um... And then I'm gonna have some broccoli. I'm gonna just put this in the microwave. And then I'm boiling water right now, and here are this, the butternut squash spirals. So I'm just gonna cook them all, and then, um, I'm not gonna eat them all, but I'll just cook them all, and then I can reheat them later. And so I put my chicken breast in my, my air fryer, and like I said, Daryl went to P.F. Chang's for lunch, so he's full, which is fine with me, because it's only 4.30. And so I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna start dinner right now. I'm starving Marvin. I'm just about to throw this in the microwave. I like them into little itty bitty bits. And then here's my spirals. I have a little bit of butter, onion, salt, and pepper in them. And I stirred them up and they just went to mush, just like I like it. My chicken is ready. I'm gonna just leave it in here and let it stay warm. And yeah, then I'm ready to eat as soon as my broccoli's done. All right, my broccoli is finished, and I put a little bit of Parmesan and a little bit of the stinky Romano cheese. So good. And here is some mustard sauce. This is the Heinz mayo must. It's really, really good. So yeah, here's my dinner. It's not too bad sort of healthy. It's half healthy, half not so healthy. Mmm, <laughs> so good. I wish my yams were smoother, but I'm not gonna mash them or beat them. They're fine. Mmm, those are amazing. So you'd think I would have my new tripod sitting here that I got from Five Below yesterday. It would have been perfect, but I have not even attempted to open the box yet. 
So these are super yummy. They're super crunchy on the outside, nice tender on the inside. These fast fixins are the best. They're also made for microwaves, but I don't know. I've never had it in the microwave, so I don't know how good it would be. So crunchy. And honestly, I'm not hungry now. <laughs> I was, but now I'm not. Do you ever get that way where you're starving and so you make your food and then it's like, eh, this isn't really what I wanted because, because you had to cook it yourself and then it's like, ew. Well, that's what's going on here. Mm. The yams are so good. And I did sweeten them a little bit with some Splenda. I just sprinkled a little bit on. Because I like the savory and the sweet of a yam and butternut squash. Have I been calling these yams for a while? These, this is butternut squash. Mm -mm -mm. If only I could get that recipe from the restaurant we went to on Sunday or Saturday called From Scratch. It was a butternut soup a butternut squash soup and it was the most velvety smooth amazing sweet and salty spicy like pumpkin spice I've never had anything like it in my entire life and one of you are like get the recipe there's no way I know I know they wouldn't give away the recipe and I believe I heard that that restaurant was on diners drive-ins and dives so I should look it up and watch it. I think the restaurant's only maybe three or four years old. So the episode was fairly recent. And who knows, maybe they made that soup. It's maze balls. Everything's cold, but that's okay. I could put it in the microwave, but they ain't got no time for that. Not bad for not being hungry. Mm-hmm. but I didn't have my button pushed so I'm just leaving the Target I finished dinner so early that I kind of started getting restless so I went to Target just to look around and they finally have all their Halloween stuff finally and so I only bought a couple things I bought these lights for Thanksgiving because I don't have anything to go down the banister. I only have orange lights that go across the top banister. So I got these to go down, just one just one box, because right now I have the purple ones that go down. So I just needed some orange ones for Thanksgiving. 
and those were ten dollars and then I just got this five dollar tank top thing five bucks it's got these sleeves that are that lo that are that kind of they're wide at the top and five bucks so that's all I got I spent fifteen dollars and now I'm on my way home so here's the tank top that I bought and it's kind of silky and it's ribbed <sighs> and nope <laughs> so and I just got extra large because they seem to run a little bit small so I gave my my belly a little bit of room but five bucks and that's just their normal price they weren't even on sale so I remembered I have these cat eyes that I bought a couple years ago and they project onto the house and so I need to find the big extension cord and then I'm gonna plug these in tonight they're really cute I hope they're not broken they've just been sitting here for two years okay so here's the unit I got it at Target I don't know three years or so ago and there are the eyeballs it's too it's kind of too light right now to see them, but they're so cute. So anyway, you just stick it in the ground. 